Hey, how the devil are ya? So, today I want to talk about the Fire Stick 4K and how you can connect extra storage to it so you can watch your media via extra storage. So the first thing you need is an OTG cable which you connect to your Fire Stick and then you plug in a USB dongle which I'll show you now. So here we've got the Fire Stick. Okay, I've got the extender in it because it just makes it easier to plug it into the back of the TV if you've got things in the way. Okay, otherwise it just plugs in like this. So you've got that. So what you've got on the side is this power connector here. So normally the power lead just plugs into this and then that then plugs in to your power outlet and that's it. But if you get an OTG cable like this, so what you do is you plug this, okay, into this. If I can get it the right way around. Okay, there we are, I finally did it. Okay, and then you plug that into this. So you've got that there and that there like that. And then what you can do is plug a USB dongle, USB storage device, and ideally you need to use USB 3. And you plug that into that. And make sure your USB is formatted to FAT32. Um, my Fire Stick picked this up and asked me to format it to FAT32, which I did so it'll work properly. And then you just plug that into your TV. And obviously, plug in the power cable. So then you're gonna need uh, a media device to play what's on the, on, the, on the actual USB stick. So, other channels will tell you uh, to, go to, to go to, to download this, that, and the other. I'll just show you now. I mean, just, hang on. Right. So, what they'll do, they'll ask you to get ES File Explorer and Downloader. And they ask you to download Downloader, then go on a Downloader and go into their website and download EX File Explorer or VLC Media Player. I don't understand why you have to do this because you can download uh, ES File Explorer and uh, the VLC Media Player directly from your Fire Stick. So, Maybe they're doing it because they're trying to drive traffic to their website. You can't blame them. They're just trying to make a career out of it. Maybe they get, you know, a bit of dosh if someone clicks a link on their website. I don't know why they're doing it, but there's no need. You can just find them both here, click on them and download them. I'm not going to use these. So what I did, I just downloaded VLC Player, which, which is also on here. So there's VS, VLC Media Player. I've already got it installed. So there it is. Now, if you have a job finding it, it's already there because I've recently used it. But if you have a job finding it, just press and hold your home button and it'll bring up this screen where you can get your settings, your mirroring, your sleep and your apps. Click on your apps and all your apps will be there for you. And there it is down there. So I've got, um, I got the cable on, I got the USB stick plugged in, all sorted. And there's my, I've put a little bit of media on here just to show you. So first of all, I got some some tunes, okay? So, maybe I'll have a look. So. Now, I suppose it's good for playing. This is copyright free, so I won't get a copyright strike. This is straight from YouTube. So, it's good because I've got my uh, cinema surround system set up to my fire stick. So it's good that you can play your own, your own music uh, through your Fire TV. Now, here's, here's the problem I got. Okay, I'll just pause that a second. Right, I've got some media here. This is one of my videos I've put on here. But look at the audio lag. Shocking. It's so bad. And you can't go in and adjust the audio lag, but you still can't get it quite perfect. So the picture's good, but the audio lag is terrible. So, so that's that, so you can play your media through it and you can adjust it in your settings to, to, to sort of get rid of that audio lag, okay? But if you use ES, 
uh, file explorer you, they do have their own media player but what they want to do is charge you a premium to use it so they can go and get stuffed now it is a good idea and other channels are recommending this OTG cable to put your own media on but I would question why you need to do it because I think there's better methods uh, why you'd need it I mean yeah you can put your own media on it you can put a USB stick on you can also plug in a, a remote with a QWERTY keyboard so you haven't got to do when you're searching like this you got to go A B C D so it's just you know oh it's got the whole alphabet there brilliant and uh, so it's just you know a pain in the neck when you've got to type it in like that so a QWERTY keyboard would be good with the remote control which you can plug into that that OTG cable which is great okay but I'm gonna give you reasons why you don't need an OTG cable so here's my first reason so why bother buying a QWERTY keyboard uh, spending an extra 10 15 20 25 pound however much they are to plug into this OTG cable when you've got the app on your phone so I've downloaded the Fire TV app you can get it in the Play Store or your App Store whatever and it's very easy so I got my Fire TV now it's detecting device BAM it's on there okay so I can now use this f with my phone there you go okay and you if you just if you just pull down from the top and hold it hello so you've still got the voice okay you still got the voice uh, control here you've got all your apps so I can just click whatever app I want boop and there you go <laughs> okay I'll just go back to the home again and then you click them dots there you've got your play your pause and your forward and rewind and then at the top here top on the top right you've got your QWERTY keyboard <laughs> so why do you need it need it so if I go back and I go to search okay so let's go back to home so let's say uh, I want to go on YouTube and search for something so I'll go here I go for YouTube where are we there we are and it's gonna load YouTube and I want to search something on YouTube but you can't be bothered to do that da -da 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 -when, da -da 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 space so I just go to search click on search and I put up pop up the QWERTY keyboard and type in uh, there you go but uh, how easy is that <laughs> I click Peter Pan and there you go and I can just go whatever then up and down so I would question why you would need a QWERTY keyboard when you've got that app on you can get that app on your phone there's just no need for it don't waste your money so that's the one reason why I won't bother with the OTG cable and the next one is you can play your media files Ooh, you can play media files so yeah you can use a USB to play your own media files okay now obviously is the problem with the your got audio lag which is a big problem um, but yeah you can look at your pictures etc your music nah, 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 nah. okay but here's the issue it can you can only get a maximum of 128 gigabyte I believe on uh, for a USB stick for the fire stick it doesn't accept any higher than that so what you do is use something called Plex if you haven't used Plex before you've got to get used to using it so all you need is a media server which is my PC my PC has two terabytes of memory on it so far much more than a USB stick you're gonna put in there plus you won't get any audio lag you're gonna get really good quality audio really good quality pictures and you can stream it in any device in the house that has Plex app on it your TVs uh, your fire sticks your Roku sticks everything so it's very easy to do so it, it, here's my Plex uh, app on here on my fire stick and then I've got all my stuff here which I want to have a look at okay so if I want to play Christmas movies okay it's just there I can go across go to my library and there they all are so I can play all my Christmas movies from here no problemo at all I'm not gonna play them for obvious reasons because I'll get a copyright strike okay so I'll just show you how easy it is to set up the only thing you're going to need is a computer or a laptop as long as it's switched on the act as your media server I've got a small little uh, mini MIDI computer here okay which I've got connected to my TV 
for your HDMI cable and I use this as my media server but you can use any any PC any laptop as long as it's switched on it'll work for you so all you've got to do is go to the uh, Plex website I've already prepped it here download the media server and that'll download to your computer which will enable you to use it for other devices I'm not going to download it for obvious reasons because I've already <laughs> I've already got it downloaded okay so then you need to go to your documents so once you've got it downloaded you go to your documents and you find somewhere where you want to store all your media so I've got it on my D drive here if I press the right one and I I've created some folders Christmas movies comedy drama down family movies whatever okay so I'm gonna create a folder uh, called songs okay so I'm gonna bring a new folder called songs there you go and I'm gonna call it songs ba -boom there so that folder is now created and I well, if I put songs in there, that folder okay what it'll do uh, Plex media player will use the songs in that so I can play that media on all of my other devices so then I go back to Plex online I've already got I've saved the tab up here and you go directly to the Plex website and sign in so I've just got to sign in a second okay so I'm in the Plex website now on all I do I want to set up a new folder here okay so I just go into settings and then I want to go right down over here you scroll down your tab here click the bar there and then you scroll right down to the bottom and when it says manage and then you click on libraries and here just here it'll say add library so I want it to be music and that's fine the name's going to be music and then what I'm going to do music I'm going to put music songs so you can change you can name it whatever you want and then click next and then I got to browse for that folder so it was in D okay so I just remember where it is so it's in D and if I look down here I should be able to find it and there it is there songs okay and it's saying do I want to add it yes but you and then add to library so now when I go home it should be there waiting for me to put media into it okay so if I have a look I've got music one there and there it is on the bottom here music songs and it's saying that it's currently empty the library is currently empty manage libraries so now what I've got to do is put something in there I've gone back onto my PC and I've copied those songs from that USB stick I was using with the Fire TV, Fire Stick, sorry. And I've copied them over to this folder. So I go into D Drive. And there's the folder there, Songs. And they're all in there. So that, now you've done, you set that up now. You've got the songs in there. So there's something in the folder. It's not empty anymore. And, they, and you've already created the folder in Plex. So if we go back to Plex, once you're back in Plex, okay, you can go to the folder. Now Plex will refresh every so often. The media server will refresh. And if it picks up any new media, it'll put, put it on there automatically. Um, but sometimes if you want to watch it straight away, it, it, it may not be on there. And if it does do that, all you have to do is you go to the folder you've created, click the three dots and scan library files and it'll scan the library files and it'll put them on there and then I click in the folder and as you can see there it all is there and if I click on that there it is and then there should be all the songs that you you've just copied over now sometimes it'll put metadata in what metadata is is the it'll include the tracks and the pictures and things like that but because this is from the YouTube audio library there's no metadata for it to pick up so you can't put in any pictures or any extra information about the songs so let's go back to my uh, fire stick stick on Plex and see if I can play them through that fire stick right we're back on the fire stick uh, so if I go into Plex 
Uh, scroll down, uh, where are we? There it is there. Okay, so got my folder here with the music stored in there, but I've copied off the USB stick. I've also copied in myself into horror movies, because it's terrible. <laughs> okay, so here I am down here. So you remember I had terrible audio lag uh, using the VLC player via the USB. So let's have a look how this has turned out. This is the first time I've played it, so let's see. <laughs> So I've seen a few videos of the tube uh, showing how to fold these green screens. By the way, that's a great way uh, to fold a green screen, so you should watch that video. But no audio lag, nice picture, no problem at all. And I can play this on any device in, in the house. If it's a smart TV with Plex on, a Fire Stick, a Roku Stick, etc, etc. Okay, so there you go. So why do you need an OTG cable? It's just no need for it. Um, if you want to get one, that's fine, it's up to you, but I prefer to use Plex Media Server, and if I want to use a QWERTY keyboard, I just use the app on my phone. Anyway, let me uh, know what you think in the comments section. How do you watch other media on your Fire Stick, if any at all? Um, if you liked the video, please give the video a like, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't why the hell not? Anyway, see you soon.